Yo, welcome back. Zykor here. And today in No Man's Sky, uh, I thought I, I'd i start the... Uh, let's see. Getting the next portion of the agricultural terminal quest. Um, what do I have here? I needed fungal clusters. Yeah. Fungal clusters and put them in my hydroponics tray. So... I'm gonna, I guess I'll head probably to, where? The green base? Green cave base? Yeah. And I also thought I'd, I mean, I just updated to the living ship update. And I thought I'd check out just a couple of the things it has. Um, I don't. I don't know how to get the, uh, like, enough Quicksilver to, um, to buy what I need, <laughs> because, uh, I, with the restrictions I made for this series, I wanted to play it as if the No Man's Sky servers were not online. Because I would prefer to play it that way myself. So I would, I'm playing it as if, like, you're completely not connected to the internet with it. Um, that's just the restrictions I made when I first started. And I kind of prefer it that way. Because then I can see the actual names of the systems rather than names by other people. Um, so that also means I don't have, I haven't, I don't see any of the, um, the missions for the, the Nexus missions available for the community stuff. And I don't have that stuff enabled. So I have to figure out how to get that in a completely offline game. Not sure how to do that. If you have any tips on that let me know in the comments now I believe this I think I need chlorine do I have any chlorine let me guess oh, I can get it okay so uh, I don't really have I don't have any chlorine in here so let's head out because I believe this planet has chlorine in it, doesn't it? Let's see. Fungal mold, cobalt, ammonia. Not chlorine. Nuts. Is there one in this system that has chlorine? Selenium, copper, uh, nuts. So do I have one in any system that has chlorine? Well, you know, let's see what it takes here. Um, where was it? No, oh, here, specialist. So that takes, oh, ammonia. Okay, never mind. I thought it was chlorine. Okay, so I need chlorine and fungal clusters. I can get fungal clusters here. get up here. And I know there's ammonia on this planet then. Where is the best place for ammonia? Oh, right over there. Okay. That's another one that's pretty close as well. What? Huh. Well, I'll just go get the fungal clusters because those are conveniently right next to my base, so that's nice. Might as well harvest them all. This will get me to the next portion of the agricultural terminal quest. And, oh, okay. No more. Oh, that was a small hot spot. Not even a hot spot. It's just a small spot. Oh, there. I missed one. There we go. I guess that's it. Not enough. Huh. 
Why is there such a small one? Hmm. Okay, so I'll head over there. I should make a exo craft. Might be a little better. Are the eggs back here? I should look, because I know I harvested all of them. No, they're not. Hmm. I guess they don't ever come back. I thought they would. If you haven't been there for a long time. But maybe it's because I have a base here. Who knows? How much dihydrogen do I have? Ah, I got enough for now. Oh, yeah. That's, I, I harvested a whole bunch of my um, indium on my planet and the farm. So I thought I should I should sell that. Okay. Uh, there we go. I guess I'll be harvesting this ammonia up for a little bit, so see you back when I'm finished. Because this, using this small size takes a little while to do. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And I got, let's see, 1,300 ammonia off that. Not bad. Pretty good. So I'll head back to my ship, I think. Eh, yeah, I'll just head back to my ship. Probably just go into my teleporter, head back to my, well, actually, not my, my farm is on my, my freighter, so I can just summon it. Okay. I didn't leave anything in here, did I? Okay, head out. I guess I'll summon my freighter, even though I have to go through the ground. At least it doesn't damage my ship anymore. Where's the space station? There we go. Oh, oh my, huh. I guess my freighter's already here. Oh, almost, almost pulse drived into my, my freighter. <laughs> so just get in here, make the fungal clusters. what else I need to do next. And I might as well get this as, as well while I'm in here, because why not? Always an ion battery. Still useful. Okay, so what do I need to do? I think I needed to install the fungal cluster. So, let's see here. And, there we go. And it's such a small little mushroom. <laughs> okay. Talk to him. Offer 50 fungal mold. Because I got a bunch of it. I think. <laughs> One step further. Okay, so, ah, uh, gamma root. Or gamma weeds. So I need gamma. Gamma roots now. Uh huh. Come on. On to the next thing. There we go. 
So in the last great war, the Gek were bombarded by nuclear weapons? Huh. Yeah, that's kind of what nuclear stuff would do. Gamma weeds, eh? Yeah. Need the fighting to others. <laughs> yeah. Grow things instead. You know, that's a good philosophy. Yes, except... I almost hit decline there. <laughs> uh, yeah, get, I guess get some rest. <laughs> okay, so... Might as well put the fungal clusters in here now that I got. Fungal mold. I don't have very much of it. Uh, yeah, that's because there was hardly any there. Okay, and... I think... I don't think I have anything in here, do I? Oh, okay, this is where I was storing... Rec uh, um, minerals and, and stuff. <laughs> okay. Now, the next thing I'd need to do was the gamma weed. Um, I could do that, but I think I'd at least like to check out some of the stuff of the living ship update. Um, they're supposed to be like giant, uh, what is it, giant creatures that show up when you pulse drive. And they're based on the system. So I guess let's just head out here and pulse drive somewhere. Actually, <laughs> let's see if I can get any any gamma root in this system. Let's see. Is there any gamma roots in this system? Nope. None. Oh well. What about Midori? Oh, there is some in Midori. I mean, I guess I could travel there, but... I'd have to go back to my base here, or the s space station. Oh, where's the space station? Because then I can just teleport. get in here. Teleport. To, I guess I'll just teleport to Midori since that is, I guess, kind of my home system anyway. And then I'll, I guess I'll just pulse drive around Midori for a little bit. See if I encounter anything. Okay, um, Nirvana, I guess, yeah, why not, might as well go to my base, I, get, I, get, I guess I get free parking anywhere anyway, but, I mean, on the space station, but <laughs> whatever. Warping takes so long. Okay. Um. Eh, where's my ship? There we go. Go up here. That was the little moon that has gamma root. So, let's find the moon, pulse drive there, and see what happens. 
You're supposed to also be able to encounter, like, traders. They'll come and uh, offer you... Is that it? It's an unknown moon. That's one I haven't discovered yet. Frankly, I should head over there. This one has Gamma Root. Well, let's head over there. Am I gonna encounter anything? Because it was like... Unless you have to have the living ship to encounter stuff, but I didn't think so. Okay, so... Nothing there. Well, let's see what happens if I just pulse drive over to this planet. It's unknown anyway. I think there's supposed to be, like, random encounters, but I have actually no idea how to... How to enable them. Oh, there's fungal mold here. Ha, I could have just come here. But how do I recognize when the large things are here. Hmm. I wonder if that's another limitation. Oh, I guess I'll just land here, I guess, and... Might as well discover this planet so I have it for future reference. Now, um, there's no place to land, is there? Let's see if I can scan for anything. use my economy scanner, but... But I'll just land, discover this, and head back up. That way I can get it in my database. Did I just destroy something when landing? <laughs> huh. Interesting planet. Okay, I'll just get back up here. Not enough fuel. Okay. Oh, I have some launch fuel. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Is that where I'm headed to? No, that's... That's Midori. Not Midori. Where's the other moon? Is this the moon? No. Okay, so I was pretty far away. I mean, I don't really know how to activate the large encounters. Well, let's head over there. I haven't discovered this one yet. What's this one got? Let me guess. Frost crystals? Yeah. Yeah, frost crystals. But I don't see any notifications popping up, so... I guess... I don't know how to activate that either. Unless it's not like a notification popping up, does it just automatically take you out of Pulse Drive? Because I've been Pulse Driving for a little bit here already and it just doesn't do anything, so... And of course I just appear in an asteroid field. Anything or not, I don't really know. 
That is a different one. And of course. Uh, you know, I'm not going to respond to him. Yeah, you found my indium. But you know, I'm going into a planet, so you're actually not going to be able to get me. Whoa! It's pointing me up. Wait, they they follow you down to a planet? Did he seriously follow me to a planet? That's interesting. Huh. Hey, I need condensed carbon anyway. Okay, so I'll have to figure out how to activate those. Maybe I can check that out for next next episode or something. I don't know. Now, uh, what else was there that activated, or that changed? <laughs> oh yeah, they enabled carbon planters. So that's an interesting thing. I guess I'll find the anomaly, and maybe get the carbon planters. So where is... Summon the anomaly here. I'll buy the carbon planter blueprint because I actually want to make that, so I'll do that quick. And I think it only costs like two salvage data to get it, so that's not actually bad. Get in here. And of course I'm out of stamina. Now let's see here. Which direction is it? Here we go. I have to get the potted plant. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's a requirement. <laughs> Don't really need it, but oh well. Carbon planter, or standing planter. There we go. I'm gonna go put that in my freighter, because why not? Now, I could buy all of these, but it's like... I still think I'm gonna get them for free, so... Although the nip-nip... I might buy that. I don't know if I'm gonna get that one. So, let's head back to the freighter. I might as well check out the Nexus missions quick. I'm not sure if sometimes it can give me a, just a random Quicksilver mission or not. I thought I saw one once but it seems like they're pretty rare. Actually, I didn't even look at what these were. Eh. Construct an outpost. Uh, nah, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't know how much it takes. I mean, I think they made it, it made those a little bit easier than they were, not require so many, so much building, but <laughs> I think I'm still not sure how much it takes. So, I'll summon my freighter here. Although, I should go get the gamma weed. Gamma root. And where is that gamma root? 
That's not it. I've seen the planet that has the gamma root. That one just has selenium. Okay, so it's on the other side. Yay. Let's just pulse drive anywhere. Just to get around this planet. Okay, anomaly. Oh, I ran into one, finally. Rubble of the first spawn. What is that? Okay, so there's a little notification that pops up. Now, what do you do? Do you destroy it? Or what? Can you interact with it? I don't know. Um... Sure is massive, that's for sure. So, do I... Can I fly in here? <laughs> cool, you can fly through it. That's, that's kind of cool. But, I just... Well, let's see what happens if I destroy it. I hope I don't cause any problems. Can't I do anything to it? Am I able to destroy it or not? I'm not sure. Honestly, not sure. I don't see any health on it, so I don't know if it destroys it or not. sure what to do. <laughs> That's... There's asteroids around. Catalog new item. What? I had silver added in my catalog. Why'd I have to add that? Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what to do with this. I mean, do I have to interact with it in some way? explosions, but I don't know if I'm actually doing anything to it. So, hmm. Let me cut for a second. I'll look it up and see what I can do. So, be back in just a second. Okay, as far as I saw, uh, nobody really knows what this does. <laughs> I, I guess I was just using the wiki because that's really my only source that I know of right now. Um, but I really don't know what it does, and the wiki says it's unknown what it does. So, yeah. I guess I got one of the duds. <laughs> Maybe if I teleport around, I mean, not teleport, if I pulse engine around more, maybe I could. Maybe I can figure something and get a different one, but... Really, this one's one of the, I guess, the more unknown ones, I guess. <laughs> so, I guess I'll just head to... Eh, no. Ooh. Getting out of there is dangerous. I'll head for the planet I was going for with the gamma weeds. Where is that? Selenium. Where's my gamma weed planet? That's my planet. And I'm right by New Orbor. And which way was I headed? Oh, I was headed this way, wasn't I? I'm lost! <laughs> Okay, so if this is New Orbor. There's a looks like there's a moon on the other side. Let's see here. Oh, it's this one. Another one. 
Oh, this is a trader? Or sentinel hunter? Communicator image sputters? Offer to repair one antimatter housing. Well, I guess I'll help him. Let's see what he gives me. Give me what they can spare before departing to repair their ship. Increase the standing with the Viking. Well, I guess it was worth it. Oh, some nanites. A little bit. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> he took my antimatter housing for just a few nanites. Come on. Okay, so... Now, if I am gonna... There should be a planet on that side of the planet. And that, there... Head in this direction in hopes I can find and get to the other planet because this, I've got to go around. Okay, so I am running into some of the pulse drive events. Okay, this is mine. My base. What is that one? Come on, show it to me. Please. Not Nuar Bor. I don't want new arbor. Um, that one is the camera. There we go. That's what I'm trying to get to. It was on the. It was all the way on the other side of the planet. I couldn't get there. Guess I can head for this abandoned building. I mean, why not? See what's here. what I had that directed me here, but I guess I'll check it out. But I do need to find the gamma weed. No, oh, I haven't been here before at least. This is pro actually, this is probably one that I, I maybe did with the, you know, with the, what is it? Getting stuff from the cartographer. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so... Yeah, this is just some... of the monstrosity eggs. And... Radiation now, I might as well raid anything I can here. If I can get past all this stuff. Get this. Is there anything over here? A little bit of standing. No nanites. Some supplies. Come on. There we go. Now I should go and get those gamma rud. I mean, I guess I can check out what this does, what this gives me, but... Maybe it'll give me a blueprint of some sort? I don't know. Returning user identified. Oceans here are blood. Nothing lives in them. They are alive themselves. Huh. This is kind of a weird one. Discover something coded deep in the traveler's data log. What am I getting? Just nanites. Well, eh, I guess it was okay. Now, where's some gamma weed? Gamma weed, where are they? Mutant plant, copper deposits. Come on, there's gotta be some gamma weed around here somewhere. And there's a resource deposit over there. Curious deposit? Come on, I know there's some. 
Let me guess. There isn't any in my area. <laughs> to see if I'm over here, but I don't see any. Might as well scan them. That's far away uh, ish. Okay, so yeah, I guess I can just get that berry technology and look for a gamma root while I'm on my way. I need to get some better upgrades for my exosuit as well. I got that. Four salvage data, not bad. But is there any gamma root? If there's no gamma root, I guess I'm just gonna leave and then summon my freighter. Usually they're the, what is it? One of the yellow icons? I don't see any. Huh. I guess I had to just had to set down in a place where there isn't any. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll head back to my ship. And just head up to my freighter. Haha, <laughs> love those packs. Love that. <laughs> Those deuterium plants. Yeah, they're really nice. So, where's my freighter? I'll get back to my freighter and make a... Um, one of those carbon planters, because I want... I really wanted to make one of them. I really wanted one, because... Carbon isn't necessarily, you know, that common. Well, I mean, no, never mind. <laughs> Carbon is common, but if you can grow it in your own base, it's even easier. And of course, I'm far away. Just continue. I wanted to actually stay up in the In the atmosphere rather than okay that's good enough and of course I'm in the atmosphere I guess fine <laughs> I'll go close to the space station there At least it doesn't use any type of fuel to summon your your freighter. <laughs> now I just need like two two metal plating, I think. get a uh, one or two carbon planters. But the question is, where do I want to put them? Hmm. I guess I can just go along here with my my plant and my hydroponic trays, and I'll plant some, uh, put some carbon planters here. Of course, I'm going out with this room, so... 
Yeah, I got silver and tritium. Go out one there, and out one here. There we go. So, I could go out this way, too. So, if I'm gonna put... Let's see. I need more metal plating for those. Okay, so if that's... That's gonna go there, and then it would go right to the corner there. So... I'd need to put the carbon planter, like, right here. Okay. Just make two... Two metal plating. Actually, I'll make four. Because I'll make two carbon planters. Now, where is it... Stored. There we go. Why is it... Oh! It's showing it in, like, a grid pattern? What the? <laughs> okay. I'll put it right there. It's kind of, kind of a weird interface. And, yeah, one right there. That makes two of them. Do you actually need... Do they need power? I hope they don't need power. I mean, they're on the freighter, for crying out loud. Oh, okay. No, they don't. There we go. And you can harvest them right as soon as you make them. Ha! That, that, that's that got to be a bug or something. Okay, so I got nice carbon planters made. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, and what else? I guess, yeah. I did get encounter one of the large encounters in space, but I... I really don't know what it did. <laughs> it didn't really do anything yet. But anyway, yeah. If you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. And hit that bell icon. Uh, leave a comment. Share it. And yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.